I got this shirt uh, off Trenyol, which is like Amazon here in Turkey. And in, in concept, I liked it. But in execution, I'm not so sure. Like, I think that this, like, this could be, like, lower. Like, I just think it's not it's not nearly as flattering and, and basic as I thought it would be. Like, yes, I'm looking for basic clothing. I'm, I'm trying to basicify <laughs> my wardrobe so that I can really blend my clothes. And I, I'm, I'm really struggling with that. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it is. Oh, man. So hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee. I'm super excited that you're here and I'm pretty excited for this video as well. It's kind of a nuanced topic, but I think it's really important for a specific reason. And that is because if we don't anchor down and like really ground down the difference between wellness and healing, you might be at a place where what you really need is healing, but you're working on wellness and what you really need is wellness, but you're not actually utilizing the tools of wellness for wellness. And if that didn't make any sense, just hang in here. I'm going to explain what I'm talking about. This topic is like so simple, but it's easy to make it overcomplicated when trying to break it down and explain it. And I was just talking with a client the other day that sometimes when we have topics that we have been exercising in our brains for years out of interest and passion, we kind of become this like micro expert on it, just in our scope of understanding. And then it's difficult for us to make it um, discoverable to the beginner. It's difficult for us to introduce the topic in a way that is just really straightforward and simple because we have been chewing on it for years. So this is one of those topics that I've been chewing on for years. So the difference between healing and wellness can be broken down into maintenance and repair. The definition for wellness is the act of practicing good health on the daily or the pursuit of daily good health. The definition for healing can be defined as making sound or making good again, re-establishing health. So that's why I say it's the difference between maintenance and the difference between repair. And because maintenance and repair are such technical terms, let's just consider a car for a second. Regular maintenance on a car includes rotating the tires, getting the brakes checked, changing the oil, these types of things. If we don't continue this daily good maintenance, the health of the car begins to deteriorate. If a car has gone through an accident and has received a trauma, this car is not going to benefit from maintenance. It needs repair. The body needs reshaped. Maybe parts need replaced. It needs to go through a process of repair. So if the car is not maintained, it will experience a deterioration. <laughs> I think I said that right. In the quality of its health versus a trauma which causes an instant need for repair because it needs to be made sound again. It needs to be made healthy again. I need to read this from my paper. I made really good notes and I need to just read it from my paper, okay? <laughs> Here's my notes. So healing is a starting point that equips elements and tools of wellness to work toward a certain level of well-being or recovery. Healing is a season of convalescence healing what is lacking in health. Wellness maintains, supports, and encourages that newfound soundness or well-being to continue to grow, thrive, build, expand. In my experience, healing is something that is very rapid, intense, drastic, and can even be extreme. Whereas wellness is like the plateau of a mountain. It levels out, it steadies out, it becomes easier, slower paced. Defining this difference can give us more understanding on where we are actually at. So sometimes, like I said earlier, we are in need of healing. We are at the beginning of a recovery journey and we're trying to equip wellness without that understanding. So it's not actually helping or we are in need of wellness, but we think we need to dive into these really intense, deep healing places but that's taking us off target. So when we can actually define, do I need healing or do I need wellness? We are able to more, inf with more information, understand where we are, define our starting point, and therefore make wiser decisions about which direction to take. 
Now, these two things absolutely work together. Healing and wellness are not separated. When we go on a healing journey, we create the pathways for wellness to emerge. While we are practicing wellness, we are creating space for healing to continue. But the difference is the intensity and the purpose. When we start a healing journey, we are recognizing that we might be at ground zero. When I started my healing journey, I was in the pit, okay? I was at rock bottom. If I had just started practicing wellness, it wouldn't have done what I needed it to do. I needed to dive into therapy. I needed to dive into therapy, art therapy. I needed to do research on healing. I needed to actually practice healing, moving this trauma out of my body, moving it out of my mind, coming to God. I needed to heal. And as I healed, I created new spaces of wellness. So now the daily things that I do for wellness, which change from day to day to day, are maintaining and then also continuing that healing. But like I said with the plateau earlier, the healing is at the bottom of the mountain. You start up this hill, up this intense hill, and you're healing, 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 and then boom. You come to this surface place where so much healing has happened that now you get to take some ease. And this can happen in seasons. Sometimes we build up enough wellness and we build up enough safety and security in our minds and souls and hearts and spirits that we are capable of processing things we didn't process before. This doesn't need to be something that is like extreme highs and lows. What it is actually is that once you've come to this plateau, you've established this wellness, and now you've got to go back it down into a valley to heal some more, you're doing it with so many tools. One, because you have healed such deep places inside of you. And let me just iterate here, let me insert with God, because doing this with God is what's going to actually heal these places. Because you have healed these places and now you've equipped all of these tools in the season of wellness, now when you have to venture through a valley again to get back, to continue on the journey, as mountains and valleys do, you have so much more understanding for how to handle the information you're receiving. You don't experience trauma shock. You don't experience this like halting of all functioning because you're so burdened by what needs to heal. Instead, you're like actually like a miner going into the cave and pulling out what needs to come out instead of finding yourself stuck at the bottom of the cave. So the main point of defining this wellness and this healing is so that you can actually get oriented on where you are. If you are going to start practicing wellness, but you're not actually going to take care of the soul deep pain that needs to heal, then it's kind of the equivalent of putting a Band-Aid over the wound. Yeah, you're drinking your lemon water and you're doing your movement and you're, you're journaling about your feelings in the day, but... If you're still creating chaos in your life and you're still falling into self-destructive tendencies and you still have a lot of uh, fruit that shows you that darkness, illness, sin, lack of health is operating inside of you, then doing these little wellness things isn't going to help. You have to go to the depth of healing. And that kind of sounds a little heavy and I honestly didn't expect to say something so heavy like that, but it is the life experience that I walked that I, when I hit my absolute complete holistic health crash, I was going to the gym. I was getting sleep. I was, I wasn't, I wasn't doing as great as I do now. Obviously I have so many more tools now, but I was doing things that on the surface looked like I should have been fine, but I wasn't because I had to heal. And I think this is even a theme we see in scripture that Jesus heals us. So Healing and wellness are two different things that hold hands to build a holistic system of healing and maintaining, repair and maintenance. And because we are such extremely resilient, amazing creations that God has designed, as we build up these tools of health and wellness, healing and wellness, we are able to embrace or face the hardships of life a lot more... Um, resiliently, gracefully, uh, with more um, understanding because it's not hitting us in these places that have never healed. And of course, that is all done with the Lord. That's all done with God. There is also this component of it that is just, if my body is storing trauma, then I'm going to trigger harder than if my body has gone through a process of healing that trauma and now I'm practicing maintenance wellness, then I'm not going to trigger nearly as severely. And if I do trigger, I'm going to recognize it right away. I know what's going on. Sometimes now I don't even need to understand exactly what triggered. I just understand that my body has hit a trigger mode and I can just, boom, 
calm it down. I have learned tools to be able to be aware of what's going on. That has happened through the process of first healing and then building wellness. I think that about sums it up, the difference between wellness and healing, that wellness is maintenance and healing is repair. And generally, if you are in need of healing, wellness isn't going to do the trick. You need the healing. But also, if you are in a place where you just need to get more organized and you just need to have more consistency, you don't necessarily need to deep dive into your past either. There's not a need to stir up things that are actually settled if they're settled. If you just need wellness practice, don't dive deeply into therapy and, and stirring up things and, and getting yourself worked up if you don't need it. Ooh, my voice is getting dry. It can be really difficult for me to say such a thing of like, you don't need this or you don't need that because I don't know you personally. But I do believe that if you are connecting with this video, you're maybe understanding where it is that you need more or you need less. I personally got to a place in my therapy that I didn't need therapy anymore because it didn't serve me in any manner to continuously stir up my past. And a therapy is a lot of that. Therapy is a lot of introspection, observing, observing and examining what our thoughts and emotions are doing in correlation to the life we have lived. You get to a point where you don't need to do that. And instead, you need to just trust in God and build this wellness practice and support yourself in where you are right now. So, okay, now I think it's officially summed up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Please drop a comment down below and share it with a friend if you think that it would benefit them. I appreciate your time so much. I, I move through these videos a bit uh, fast because one, I don't want to take up so much time and two, I just don't always have, okay, I don't have a lot of storage to work with. So when I'm filling up my computer with a video that I need to edit, I have to optimize the filming process so that I can just not lose the video with not having enough storage. So that's why I move a little bit fast. My name is Kaylee. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time so much. Go ahead and share the video, like, subscribe, all that good jazz, and I will see you next time.